Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure all the settings for BankBot on Telegram. If you don't have a BankBot account already, you can use the referral link in the video description below to get started with a free account and get discounts on transaction fees. So let's dive into our screen. So guys, here I am in my computer screen. You can also do this process in Telegram in your smartphone. But I'm showing you guys in my computer, but the process is very similar both in computer and in smartphone. So after you sign up, you will get the welcome message from BonkBot, which will look like this. From the welcome message, you can just scroll down a little bit and you will find the settings right over here. Just go ahead and click on settings. And after that, you will find all these settings right over here. First of all, we're going to find general settings. Here you can change your language, you can change your minimum position value. However, my language is already English, but if you want to change your language to any other, just click on it and the language will be changed. So as you can see, by clicking on the languages, I'm changing the language. So it has four languages at the moment. And then we have the auto buy option and it's currently disabled. If you want to enable auto buy, you can just click on enable and then auto buy will be enabled you can set auto buy amount as you can see my current auto buy amount is 0 0.10 soul and if i want to change that i will just select this message but before selecting this message you will have to click on the minimum position first after you click on the minimum position value you will get a message like this then you will reply to this message and select the minimum position value so suppose i'm selecting 0 0.9 sol and this will be my value so auto amount value has been set to 0.9. As you can see, the amount has been changed, but I don't want auto buy to be enabled because they just buy tokens randomly and I don't want random tokens to be in my wallet. So I'm going to disable this option by single clicking it. It's now disabled. Then we have buy buttons configuration. You will have three buy buttons by default. On left side, you will have a button and on right side, you will have another button and another button which will be by x amount of soul so so x is custom amount you can always change the amount but you can have two default amounts so as you can see my default amounts are 0.01 sol and 0.1 sol but if you want to change any of these amounts you can just click on them then you will get a message like this reply to this message and after you reply to the message your amount will be changed as you can see now left amount is 0.01 right amount is 0.02 in similar way you will have three sell buttons left button right button and custom button so left is 50 percent right is 100 percent and custom is whatever you want to set you just press that button and set the amount but if you want to change the default amounts in similar way you just have to select any of the amount and then reply to their message let's change it to 99 so as you can see, right sell button set to 99 and my percentage is changed. Then we have slippage configuration. You can also change the amount of your slippage. So I'm going to change the sell amount. I have clicked it and then I've got a message again. Let's reply to this into 20 and sell slippage set to 20. After that, you will have max price impact. It's also changeable. Then we have MEV protection. This can be changed with single click and you can see it's now set to turbo. So if MIP protection is set to turbo, your transaction will go through fast, but it will not be MIP protected and it's not going to be much secured. So I'm going to click it again and secure my ongoing future transactions. So as you can see, MIP protection set to turbo and then, and then it's back set to secure. Okay, after that we have transaction priority. You can set your transaction priority here. If you set transaction priority to high, your transaction cost will be higher. However, if you spend more transaction costs, then you will have a very high transaction priority. And let's change it again to medium. So medium is where we can stay. However, if you go below 0.001 SOL, then your transaction priority will be low. There is a chance that your transactions might not go through. So it's not recommended to go below 0.001 SOL. However, if you go higher than 0.001, the higher chances that your transactions will go through. 
However, it's not necessary that you have to pay more transaction fees in order to get more success, but make sure that you're not going below 0.001. Afterwards, we have the cell protection, which is enabled and make sure that you are enabling the cell protection. So whether it's taking more time or not, you should enable cell protection. Your transactions might take a bit long due to cell protection enabled, but your sales will be protected. Single clicking this option will disable the sales protection and your transactions will go faster, but you will not have cell protection enabled. So every time you change any settings, you will be able to see that the settings are being changed right over here. So I'm going to go back and enable my cell protection. So that is all for bunk bot settings. Make sure to go through these settings and set up your bunk bot settings according to your will.